Good morning, my dear student. I am Rakesh Sarve from Sunbeam Sun City, Jai Hindi World. My dear, today I am uploading the topic on refraction through a glass prism. And uh, this topic, we will have three, four questions. The topic is uh, good and important with the exam point of view. There are many uh, conceptual questions lying in the uh, uh, topic of the refraction through prism. Even there are the numericals, many numericals based on this topic. So let's begin. The first question on the topic is, what is prism? And then I have to draw an A diagram showing refraction through a glass prism. That diagram you have to do for all the questions, whatever be based on this topic. And define angle of deviations. That is delta. And then in the topic we will go ahead and we will define angle of minimum deviation. But right now we will define angle of deviations. So my dear, what is prism to discuss this? Let us uh, take the 3D diagram. I repeat, let us take a 3D diagram of the prism. My dear, when we will draw the 3D diagram, look at how it looks like. And you also have a practice of drawing this. I can write, say I am writing here A, B, C and here D and this is the another phase I am taking. This is the another phase I am taking that this is E, F. So my dear from your side you can see there are two refracting phase. Here yeah, this is the and this is the this this and this because this is the base my dear so here yeah, this is the refracting phase and my dear I can see there are two refracting phase in the in the prism I will name them uh, after some time and this is called this particular line you can see this line this line is called as the refracting a uh, refracting no doubt it is a b you can see in the diagram so a b in the diagram you can see this this particular line this one is called as refracting edge this is refracting edge and you can see there is a base of the prism. One face is called base of the prism, and you can you can uh, talk about that. This is nothing but here I am writing A B C D is first refracting face or refracting or you can say transparent you can say transparent refracting medium because it is transparent and it, it because when it, I say it is refracts so of course it is composed of glass so that glass will act as a medium. So first refracting phase or first transparent refracting medium you can call in the topic or and my dear another another phase you can see in the diagram please please see the diagram carefully another phase I can see a b the another phase I can see is nothing but a b e f is the second refracting face or second transparent refracting medium so you can see the two uh, uh, refracting face in the diagram my dear the first refracting face is a b c d a b c d 
and another one another one is this one my dear you can see that is a b e f or a b f e please please you you see to this like this way so now when you draw this uh, 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 actual prism in 3d my dear this is called uh, i'll tell you this shape is look like wedge w a d g e that's called as wedge shaped prism so my dear here i have drawn it in 3d view so a b e f is the second refracting face a b c d is the first refracting face and now my dear in the figure you can see this is i am writing from figure in the figure you can see my dear c d e f c d e f this is nothing but base of prism face ya plane c d e f plane a b e f and plane a b c d this is the three very important concepts bachche the base of the prism and the two refracting faces of the prism when i say there is a two refracting face it means that i can enter the light either from the left face also or i can enter the light from the right face also the my incident ray can be from left as well as can be from right try to understand when it will come from left it will immerse through right when it will be the ray of light going from right refracting face my dear it will be emerge from the left refracting face so try to understand this a uh, very important line which i am saying right so now here these are the three crucial point my dear that there are a b c d the first refracting face a b e f is the second refracting face and c d e f look at the diagram carefully and c d when you look from the figure you will find see one is this side other is this side and there is a base there is a base of the prism when we draw this as a principal section this is 3d but when i draw like this i get this a d e you can see in my diagram a d e but how i got this diagram sir we cut we cut the the section this wedge section of the bridge prism perpendicular my dear perpendicular to whom perpendicular to the refracting edge it is cut plane in a plane perpendicular to the refracting edge my dear here in in my diagram uh you can say line ab is refracting edge and this diagram of prism is called principal section of prism this is the principal section and how i got principal section by cutting by cutting the uh, wedge shape prism in such a way that it is plane perpendicular to the refracting edge when it is refracting edge pe perpendicular cut kiya and my dear i got the principal section this section of the prism so if i cut anywhere as parallel perpendicular to the sorry plane perpendicular to the refracting edge definitely we will get the prism which the view of the prism is like this and and this will act as in this prism it will be act as refracting face even this will act as refracting face and this will act as base of prism so by looking to any diagram my dear either 3d view or uh, principal section my dear uh, i i hope you understood what is prism prism is a prism is a wedge shape it is wedge shape my dear wedge shape wedge shape you all can see uh, in the aeroplane the wings is also a wedge shape the wings of the aeroplane are wedge shape so what is wedge shape the prism is a wedge shaped portion or section of transparent medium 
medium is transparent my dear <coughs> that is if i incident the light at one face it will come out through the other face it will emerge out through the other face transparent not opaque not opaque the opposite of transparent is opaque transparent it is r par opaque it don't allow the light to enter it stop the light so this is piece with a wedge shaped section of transparent medium bounded by it is a transparent medium bounded by two refracting faces you can see two refracting faces in the diagram my dear which are inclined to certain angle which are they are inclined my dear you can see a b c d and a b e f are capped this is one face by this end and this is the another face and they capped inclined to each other so they which are inclined to which are inclined to certain angle that angle decide my dear that angle is called angle of prism here is the angle of prism this is angle of prism my dear so point number 5 angle a is angle of refracting prism angle a is the angle of refracting prism here i have written that prism is a wedge shaped section my dear of this ka transparent medium ka here that is transparent light entered from one one face it emerges from the other face it going from this other face emerging from the first face that's what it is a transparent medium bounded by two refracting face am i clear and this two refracting face my dear they are inclined to certain angle so this is my dear a uh, uh, concept of actually a prism so when we draw a 3d view we will get five faces my dear five plane you can observe plane and triangular faces one is nothing but a b c d other is nothing but you can see this one also ek a b c d ho gaya ek a e d ho gaya ek b c f ho gaya i hope ek ho gaya beta c d e f so these are the five faces my dear which you can count in the prism and this are the uh, wedge shaped section my dear i have drawn here because it, it looks like a wedge and it is transparent medium nothing but bounded by the two surfaces which refracting surfaces in my diagram i have drawn these are the two refracting faces my dear and they are inclined to each other so this is and this is a principal section how we get a principal section by cutting the prism i cut any portion of the prism my dear sir in what way in perpendicular plane perpendicular to the refracting edge as soon as i will cut it plane perpendicular to refracting edge my dear i will get this section called principal section of the prism so now let's go to the uh, uh, ray diagram and what is angle of deviation so now now my let's continue again i am taking a quick revisions because uh, you all should aware the last time i am taking the revision what is prism my dear prism is a wedge shape you can see now only see the diagram and learn the things it is a wedge shaped portion my dear or wedge shaped section you can see and this wedge shaped section is of what is of transparent medium it's not opaque this wedge shaped section is of transparent medium and i said there is bounded by this is bounded by the two plane refracting surface you can see the name of the i have written the two plane refracting surface in the diagram one was a b c d and other is this side my dear you can see a b e f a b e f so these are the two plane refracting faces my dear along with the base of the prism as a face also that is c d e f is acting as a base but we are not writing in what is prism only knowledge ke liye rakho ki there is a base face is called c d e f in the diagram and the two refracting faces are nothing but a b c d and other is a b e f 
Now, my dear, I, I told you actually when you look this west shape portion, you will find there are five faces. You can count from your side. Three faces, so I told you that only. That two faces refracting and one face is base. Three to aise hi ho gaya. And one you can see at the front in your diagram. That is this A E D or A D E. And other is this one that like this. It is nothing but B C F. So now, my dear, I told you that there are how many faces. You can see actually there are five faces when you look west shape portion of 3D view. Am I clear? And these five faces, I hope it is clear, very clear. Two refracting face. Once again, one bar A B C D. Another face A B E F. But when we go for principal section, we will go for something else. But right now there is five faces. Am I clear? A B C D. A you can see A B E F. And two faces C D E F. Base face. That is nothing but three faces. A E D. Four face. B C F. Five faces. Now, but my dear, what I said when we draw a ray diagram, why I am discussing so much because we have to draw the ray diagram. So when we draw a ray diagram, what science has done, they cut any portion of this west shape. How they cut? They cut plane perpendicular. They cut plane perpendicular. Am I clear? Of course, this is a kind of a plane. So they cut plane perpendicular to Kisco on on what? On the on the refracting edge to the refracting edge. So when we cut any portion of this west shape. In 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 perpendicular on your plane perpendicular to the refracting edge, we get the principal section like this. And now when we go for principal section, my dear, you will get a broad idea also. Now this AD and the face AE, a face AD and face AE is acting as a two refracting face. DE or ED is acting as a base of the prism, and angle A is the angle of refracting prism. So, my dear, this is the principal section of the prism, and I will use this diagram, this section, to draw the ray diagram. Okay. So, let's now go to the ray diagram. This is suppose I have taken the prism, my dear, and let the name of the prism I have given A B C. So now you all know, my dear, that A B A B is the first refracting face. A C is the second refracting face, and angle A is the angle of prism. I hope it is clear, my dear. So now here, let's say I have taken the ray of light like this. This is P, and here I mark Q. This is my dear incident ray. Let us draw the normal because the prismic plane is like this, my dear. AB is like this. So when I when I take AB like this, so perpendicular on AB will be like this, my dear. And that perpendicular is called normal. So let us draw the normal. So here I have drawn normal. Say that normal is named as N M. Is the normal drawn? Now, my dear, this this incident ray will refract. It will refract because it is coming from air and it is glass, my dear. You all can see. Here I am writing glass. So when it will go from the air to glass, or when it is coming from air, also it is coming from air to glass. So when it go from air to glass, any faces it can come. So when it and and in any time, my dear, it is from air to glass. This is also a concept. So when I say air to glass, my dear, of course it will be banked towards the normal. And no doubt, my dear, uh, if, since the glass is a refractive index of one point five, a high refractive index, less than diamond, but more than water. You can see this will be bent towards the base side, base of the prism. So I will bend it like this. Let see, I bent it this little bit like this towards the base of the prism. This is also very important. Prism bends the ray of light. No doubt, it bent. And we take a concept. Uh, uh, when I go for thin prism, also I'll tell you the concept is from air to glass. So whenever we are going air to glass, inside the prism, the light band towards the base. Inside the prism, either you go from here or you go from here, my dear. 
as soon as it entered inside the prism because air to glass concept it will be bent towards the base of the prism so take care of this concept that the refracted ray in the prism bent towards the base this is also a mcq question or important question that in the glass prism the light ray refracted or banded towards the base and no doubt refractive index is moderate that is 1.5 better better than water so as i sir told you all uh, refractive index zyada hoga to banding bhi zyada hoti hai so uh, it will be bent no doubts are in the glass and and it will bend towards the base of the prism take care of this language of course banding ho raha hai to kahan bend ho raha hai towards the base of the prism thoda sa concepts rakho okay now next is my dear here this ray is fall on this and here is the and here is the angle my dear here is angle of incident and here is the angle of refraction am i clear since this is the first surface let i have taken angle of refraction because it refract from first surface then i have taken angle of refraction as r1 i hope it is clear now my dear here as soon as it will fall here let us draw the normal on this surface also so as i draw the normal on this surface because the surface is not like this so perpendicular is like this so here is the normal drawn let this normal here i am writing m dash so mm dash is the another normal first was mm another is mm dash and now my dear here it is going from glass to air because now it will be emerge out from the face ac because it is incident from face ab so now if it is coming emerging from ac so it is coming from glass to air so it will be bent away from the normal like this and let i have given here the name as r and here i have given a name s so the path followed in this case is p q r s i hope it is clear and here my dear say i have put this is no doubt this is also my dear a uh, uh, angle of incident on the this face no doubt that it is taken as r2 but i said angle of incident but i am renaming this as r2 because this can also be a refracted ray because this is a refracted ray falling on this face so hence the angle named is given as r2 but this is a second surface i hope it is clear my dear so here uh, here is your angle of emergent e this is emergent ray this is emergent ray and this is ang a normal and the angle between emergent ray and normal is emergent angle emergent angle but my dear if i if i ask the ray to incident from this side this will this emergent angle will become incident angle try to uh, understand this is what is a concept of i is equal to e i'll tell you all So now here, please take care that I have marked R1, I have marked R2, I have marked angle of emergence, I have marked angle of incidence. Now let us do one thing: produce this incident ray. So I produce this incident ray, and I will produce the emergent ray like this, my dear. so this is the emergent ray produced and this is the incident ray produced here you can see here here this this portion this the two produced in rays that is incident and emergent make an angle and that angle is called angle of deviation that's my question what is angle of deviation so i hope my dear you all clear this is the ray diagram which you are supposed to understand whenever you are drawing whenever the people ask to draw the ray diagram showing refraction through the prism so once again this is the face ab like the incident ray is coming from here this face so angle will be with normal is incident angle it will be refract it will bend inside the glass my dear as soon as it entered inside the glass air to glass concept so it will be bend towards the normal but be towards the normal is a right word okay fine that is a concept but it will be bend towards the base because base is over here so it, when it, i say bend towards the normal ultimately its concept it is bending towards the base so inside the glass prism the ray is the refracted ray bend towards the base of the prism take care of this language 
and then it will be emerged from the other phase AC and making an angle of emergent as E. Here my dear I have marked R1 and R2 because this is a refracted ray. This surface with this refracted ray making an angle R1 and this surface this ray this same refracted ray making an angle R2 because there are the first phase and second phase according to that I have named the angle of the refracted ray with the different phases. Simple concepts. Here refracted ray first phase pair here refracted ray. Refracted ray first phase pair angle with normal is R1. This refracted ray, same refracted ray, no doubt producing, and it will be it will be fall on the second phase. I will name the angle with normal as R2. No doubt this can be an incident ray or incident angle also because when it's incident on this phase. But this right now I have given R1 and R2 because since it is a refracted ray, one phase it is angle making R1, other phase it is making angle R2 for that concept. And this is angle of prism. Okay. And and what is angle of deviation? So angle of deviation. So what is angle of deviation? It is, it is, what is angle of deviation my dear, delta, here is the definition, it is angle between, it is angle between produced incident ray and emergent ray it is angle between produced, my dear, produced incident ray and emergent ray in glass prism. In glass prism. I hope it is clear, my dear. So it is angle between produced incident ray, produced incident ray, you can see, and produced emergent ray, where it is angle is making in the glass prism, my dear. So try to understand this is an important concepts my dear when you are talking about this. So this is all about uh, this question that what is prism draw the ray diagram showing the refraction through the prism and what is angle of deviation. So now uh, I hope you all clear this concepts. So please take care of this part and now we will go for the next part of it. The next question of refraction through the glass prism.